Hi, Boo Boo. Peekaboo. Who you are look you? so cute. You are I'm gonna keep reading this book. So, where did Sugar we leave off? Yeah. Baby. You saw her? Yeah. Wow. Monster Inc. It says here farmers wanted to find good land and set up new shops. Carpenter, bakers, etc. Shoemaker, artist. Hi. Hi, pretty. <laughs> I miss you. Thank you. You're so cute. I love it when you're so cute. You're being a good girl. You're a firework. <laughs> I love your little pants. Are those kitties? What are they? You're a firework. It says when you were on the wagon train. A, B, C, D. You were lucky people, <laughs> knew different <laughs> things. Yeah? I mean, I'm trying to read something. It says sometimes when people who didn't start out with you on the trip were joined, <laughs> I guess on the trip. <laughs> this is. And then even they say sometimes babies were born in the trip, too. That's funny, huh? <laughs> so these travelers were called pioneers, which were the first group of people to move into the new land and make a new home. When you went on these trips, it says it was like carrying your whole town with you on a trip, on the wagon train. But when you had a lot of people that knew different skills and had different talents, it's very cool. So everybody has a special, uh, like a talent or whatever. You know? yeah, Okay. I'm just gonna be quiet. So what would your family bring, it says, when you packed up for your wagon? It was necessary to leave behind something, but the oxen and the horses pulled, you know, the, the it was hard work for them uh -huh. to pull the wagons across the country. And if the wagon got too heavy, the oxen, and um, they would get tired, okay, the horses, they would get exhausted, etc. So they had to figure out exactly how much stuff they would need, the food and everything else, the supplies. Um, back then, there were no supermarkets you could go to. If you ran out of supplies, so they had to bring things with them for five or six months as they traveled on the way. Hi. They needed to bring crackers, corn meal, bake, um, eggs, uh, dried, <laughs> dried fruit. Potatoes, rice, so beans, barrel of water, dried fruit. So they would even bring treats with them too. Sometimes if they owned cows, they would bring them to get milk and on the way. As well. So on the trail, they would look for berries and honey and vegetables on the way. Wild berries and stuff. As pioneers, they made their own clothing. What? So that they could make their own clothes. They would have thread, 
everything. Leather, even, I guess, for shoes. To repair the, their own clothes. Also bring along soap as well as candles, lanterns, and wash bowls. They brought tents in order to sleep outside the wagons as well. They brought blankets, things like that. They brought plates. Pots and pans. They, they kept their supplies in the box in the back of the wagon. It says that the, um, usually let's see, they started their trips in May and I guess. If you started too early, it says the spring rains would make the mud too difficult for the wagons to get through. Their wheels would get stuck, so they have to start when it's a little bit more dry. So they started in Mayish, and a lot of the pioneers started from Missouri area back then. So if they got stuck in the mud, it would take days to dig themselves out. But the, you know, it's difficult. Also, if the grass would not have grown tall enough and thick enough to feed their cattle along the way, so they would have to bring hay um, on their wagons in order to feed the cattle who grew weak. And needed to be fed. They're hungry. The whole trip took five to six months, so so they have to be careful that they finish the trip before winter time, when the snow might come or the mountains will be too cold. Sometimes they had to camp in the mountains. If they got stuck in the winter, they would have to wait until the snow melted. So it was very um, challenging that they had to make sure you know, they survived through those tough different things, situations. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They had to make sure the grass was growing tall and the sun was shining. That was important for being on a trip. So, it says, how do you cross the river if there's no bridge? It's not easy, it says. Back in the 1840s, the covered wagons that started west from towns on the Missouri River. And how do you cross the river? They used to cross on a town called Independence, which had a few farms and some stores. They made and fixed wagons and wheels. And some people sleeping in tents went, wanted to begin their trip west. Hi. Hello. Large flat boats called scows would take the wagons across the Missouri River. The horses, the cows, and the oxen had to swim because they couldn't fit on the scows. The covered wagons had blocks of wood placed in front and in back of its wheels so that it wouldn't roll off the scow. 
That's interesting. Hold on. So once we would cross the Missouri River into yeah. Kansas and Missouri. I mean the brass. She said I was in the middle. The pioneers were in the Indian Territory. Then. Huh? You see? Is that you? That boo boo? What you doing? Leaving? How do you say you come on over with your hands? The volume, the, the vo volume sound is lost. The shelves are all empty. She has one, one cleaning bottle of sanitizer. Baby? Clorox wipes. Get into the sound. You lost the sound. She's she work. can't hear me if she went in the cubby hole. Bye! What a funny cubby hole! Nap time? Good night. Take a nap now. <laughs> sleep with the sleep for ties. Close your eyes. <laughs> Go to sleep, lovely baby. Swing your eyes. <laughs> if she hits on one of those, eight years and not to step that hard. And if you get freedom, then nobody bugs you. <laughs> and tell you, you can't sleep in there. It seems like you can with these lids. You just have to add blankets. She can. <laughs> a blanket for you, a blanket for you, a blanket, a blanket for you. Uh oh, it looks like you're in a meteor. <laughs> you're at a distance. What are those? You can pretend you're in a wagon and you're crossing the Missouri River. Seems like coming back. Mm -hmm. The kids. Thank
the wagon from it's from the pioneers wagon. Oh, why does it say there's no sound? They probably need to this. And those are the carry box supply boxes and stuff. This book is called If I Traveled West on a Covered Wagon. Hashtag baby face tape. Or if you call it Ellen the Wagon. Ellen the Wagon. 